Tasmanian Rowan Wilson has won the Vogel Literary Award with his first book, The Roving Party. The historical novel looks at the relationships between white settlers and Aborigines in the early 1800s. Well, it's now in its 30th year, and the $30,000 Vogel Prize is awarded for an unpublished manuscript by a writer under the age of 35. Rowan Wilson, the winning author, set, joins us now in the studio. Good morning, Rowan. Thanks very much for, for joining us, and congratulations Thank you. on your big prize. I mean, this is the stuff that careers are made of. Absolutely, yeah. This is hopefully the beginning of my career. Um, it's just an incredible prize to give somebody, isn't it? Just, here you are, you have a career. <laughs> it's great. I, I heard you described it as, as a, an award that's going to change your life. Can I ask you, is it the, the, the award itself that's going to change your life or is it the $30,000 prize money? Oh, the prize money is, is great. I mean, it, it gives me freedom to write, but the, the real prize of this award is, is publishing. Um, they take my manuscript and they knock it into shape and they put it into a cover and they put it in the bookstores, which is just unbelievable. And you become a name, which consequently means that the second novel is uh, a, a lot easier to get, get a publisher to read. Oh, uh, it'd be nice to think so, yeah. I'm sure that at least it'll get read now. I don't know if it'll get published, but I'll, I'll be able to get it read, I think, which is really good. That's a start. Yeah. Okay, now tell me a little bit more about this, this novel, The Roving Party. Um, it's, it's the story of a, a prominent settler in Tasmania. Uh, his name was John Batman. Um, he lived around sort of Ben Lomond in the northeast of Tasmania. He had land there. And he uh, petitioned the government. Governor Arthur was the governor at the time. And he petitioned Governor Arthur to be allowed to put together a roving party and take them into the frontier, the wilds. What, what was a roving party? Uh, well, it was a group of men, uh, convicts, usually assigned convicts, and